Hello fellow rock tumblers and just lovers of shiny rocks. What you see are my latest coarse grit tumbled rocks ready to be polished. I have a nice variety here of petrified wood. I've got agate, I've got banded shirt and, and others. So what I'm going to do is get these loaded into the Raytech Ultra Vibe 10 and start with my polishing process. So in eight days after the four steps, we should have some shiny rocks. It's been eight days and the rocks are finished. What do you think? Check it out. I think they turned out pretty good for the most part. Let's take a closer look at some of the nicer ones. Let's start with the petrified wood. Check out some of these pieces. I think these turned out really nice. What do you think? This one has lots of interesting detail. There's some agatization in there if you look closely. As I recall, this is an end piece off a big chunk of petrified wood that I slabbed. It took a great shine and I think has a terrific pattern in there. What do you think? It's just a small piece. Good shine. Not too interesting otherwise. Here's a nice long thin piece. Looks pretty good. Took an okay shine. This one didn't move too well in the vibratory tumbler. I was watching it and it would get stuck. <laughs> oh well, it still took an okay shine though. Here are just a couple of small pieces of the petrified wood. And then check this beauty out here. This took a great shine. Look at this piece of wood. It's almost perfect. Still a couple of small flaws if you look closely, but I like the way this one turned out. I know, I know, a lot of you out there don't like when stones get tumbled to this degree of smoothness. You think it's just so unnatural, and you know what, you're right. <laughs> it certainly is unnatural, but I like it. I like a stone with this kind of finish and polish on it. And here are a couple of pieces of banded shirt that turned out nice. Not a whole lot of banding in here. A little bit, a little bit of swirliness in here, you can see. This piece is similar, not a lot of banding, but a little bit of swirliness. That's my new word today, swirliness. This plain piece right here, this might actually be Jasper, now that I think about it. It doesn't really look like the chert. And then here are a couple of these little fossil rocks. You can see the little signs of sea creatures in these. Here's another one. Same deal, little tiny sea creatures in there. And two more. They're not very interesting, I'm afraid. But this one I really like, this little fossil rock here. I think it took a nice tumble and polish. And here are some miscellaneous rocks. I actually think this is a piece of banded shirt that I didn't spot earlier when I was showing you the banded shirt. This one has a little more banding in it too, look at that. Took a really nice tumble though, and a, a great shine as usual. I'm not sure what this red rock is, but I really like it. This rock's kind of boring, and it didn't take a great shine either. Oh well, you gotta try everything, I suppose. You never know, sometimes these turn out great, other times they turn out like this. <laughs> Here's a little piece of that banded iron formation. I like this stuff. It's cool looking. And then there's this green rock. This might be adventuring, I'm not sure. I know that I had purchased a, just a variety of tumbling rocks and there was all kinds of different rocks in there. This came from that. So there's no telling, but let's go with adventuring just because I'm pretty sure that's a green rock. <laughs> And this is some sort of mossy agate right here. This would be a good one to put under the microscope. So just about all the rest of these are agates of some sort or another. Let's not go through all these. Let's look at the highlights here. Check this one out. This is really pretty. It sort of has a Montana agate vibe going, but then there's some other stuff there. I like it a lot. It's very translucent. It's got some wonderful detail inside. Took an awesome shine. 
This, of course, is a Brazil agate. These are unmistakable. And of course, these are crazy lace, also unmistakable. I need to get these under the microscope at some point as well. Here's some Montana agate, another unmistakable rock. I like the way these tumble. I'm not sure what kind of agate this is, but I like it. Maybe a prairie agate? No, I don't think so, it's the wrong color. It's interesting looking. This one has to be a Botswana agate, right? That's what it looks like. These are always so awesome. I don't know what this one is, but it's purple. I wish I could show you. I need to get a light to shine behind these so you can see, but it's a purple agate with some brown. What a cool combination. And speaking of color, this is some sort of green mossy agate here. Here's a piece of jasper. Look at that. I forgot about this one. So there was this chunk of jasper in this group. Now this, I believe, is one of those prairie agates. I like the way these turn out. I think this is just a chunk of a Brazilian agate. I think I broke one up and tumbled it. I hate those fractures. It's, it's fairly smooth there, but it's a, still a fracture. It's a point against me. If you're scoring at home, <laughs> can't have any fractures. And I'll end on this big guy here. I don't know what this is. It's a big agate of some sort. Appears to be some fine banding in this. If you look closely, you can see it. And those are the rest of the little agates. Once again, thank you so much for watching my video. I do appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed that. We got a fairly successful batch this time. Most of these were keepers. One or two duds, I suppose. Thanks again.